Today we're taking a look at the Sea Serpent. Now, there isn't a ton of mana support this weekly, you're really limited to the mana potion food item as well as a Thunderbird, but if you get enough Thunderbirds and you get enough mana potions, you can make it happen. I hope you enjoy, take a look, and I'll catch you next time. Holy doggies, oh my gosh, she's not in the weekly though. Um, I've decided I refuse to play anything that doesn't have either two three stats or three attack. Because they just get hard, hard murdered by everybody. <laughs> um, yeah, like, unless I have a horse, then the beetle counts. But aside from that, like, horse, maybe a few, but... I feel like, these guys just get nuked on. This is bad. That's giving away two free wins, if you do that. Um... I'm gonna do something a little crazy here, and I'm gonna not combine. Grab a weasel. Roll me. Hmm. Roll me. Not interested. I'll keep the Ogo Pogo if we don't find a fish. That would be a very good hit. Oh dude, this guy's huge. He's just big enough. <laughs> That's what I mean. Okay. Sell you. So you go up front. Is this like a ghost kitten angle? Is it really? Maybe we throw in Thunderbird. No. <laughs> There's the fish. Roll me. Alright. Just throw the fish in there. Puppy's alright. Anteater. Maybe. I think I like the puppy better. Since we have the shrimp. Try to get some buy cells cooking. Well, that went very well. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Um, I don't think it's a level 3 fish angle. But that doesn't mean you can't try. Mm -hmm. Maybe that does mean you can't try. <laughs> I don't know. Let's just do this. Get a little bit of, little bit of health here. A little bit of attack. And then throw a rabbit, hold on to some salad. Hmm, that is very unfortunate. You get one big homie, that's all he takes. All right, don't hit the rabbit. Thank you, thank you. Ditch you. Roll me. Do this, hold on to the beaver, because that's just stats. And we like stats. Wow, the ghost kitten actually did something <laughs> crazy in this weird one-off scenario. All right, we're gonna keep you, I'm thinking. What do we got? Turkey, red dragon. What if we go some this kind of like weird snipe setup, you know? That could be interesting. The fish probably needs to go. Like what is he really doing here? Yeah, not much. Keep giving turkey, but I don't want it. God, 
Ah, every time. <laughs> every time that I notice it. <laughs> Alright, that's fine. Um, swap you, make sure we have the attack gradient good. I don't really mind forest squatting here. Holy Christmas. How do you how do you do that? How is that a team that exists right now? You must have gotten very lucky with with level ups last turn. Okay, go here. About time we pivot into something. I'm not sure what yet. Get rid of you. Okay, would have liked to see Serpent there, but whatever. <laughs> I'll live, I guess. Spend 12 gold? I don't think I will. Oh, fantastic, what the heck? Just nuke their whole squad. Alright, get rid of you. We have to buy, sell two guys in order to get 12 gold. We do this. Probably just throw you in the mix. Hold on to you. Okay. Is this like the best thing ever? No, not really. <laughs> Is it good? Arguable. Is it fun? We'll see. I'll, I'll let you know here in a second. Love it. Holy doggies coming out. Okay. I don't think we care about a mushroom here. I'll be straight up with you. Rolling. We gotta find the sea serpent at some point, right? Surely we'll eventually find one. Maybe we should have the red dragon up front since he's bigger now. Oh dear lord. Please hit this. Actually no, it's probably better he didn't. Doesn't matter. <laughs> These guys are huge. Okay. Mine. Buy, sell, roll me. And you can get up there already. The serpent. We're rolling for it. There he is. Alright, well we got the build. Kind of. We'll see how this does. Not bad. Not bad at all. Our weasel's not dying anymore, but... You know, maybe that's not a huge issue. Um, we go here. I don't think we care about the weasel, to be honest. I think we care much more about leveling our sea serpent and or thunderbirds. I don't even think we care about you. There we go. Alright. It's gonna be close. I'm kind of worried. But we'll see if we can make it happen. That hit the wrong guy. You hate to see it. <laughs> I don't think we're winning anyways. Um, okay. If we found Sea Serpent, if we didn't have to roll like 200 times to find him, I think that could have been good. We would have had a level 2... Maybe it would have made the difference, I don't know. Discombobulated carrots. You ever seen those videos where people like stick carrots in the trunk of a car as it's closing? I'm like, well, look how unsafe this car is. <laughs> like, what? I just thought that was the weirdest thing. 
Also, I, I've heard that that's not actually a good anal analogy for, like, fingers. Like, it's not actually representative of how your finger would behave. You know, they say, like, you, you'd be able to bite your finger off with the same force as a carrot or whatever. Like, dude, really? Is that really true? Because I don't know if I buy it. I mean, this is just awesome. This is just fantastic news. Who here is with me? Anteater is the best early game you can get. Like, hands down. Incredibly strong. Mm, we already did Deer Lord. Maybe we'll try the Wyvern. See how that treats us. Could try Thunderbird as well. I don't know, this build doesn't have much definition yet. It can honestly go wherever wherever we want it to go. So I think we ditch the fish, throw in a Thunderbird. Try to find some good synergies here. Like maybe maybe throw in a puppy, right? Get some oven mitts in the oven. A lot of wyverns. Um, yeah, let's level here. Definitely could be a buy sell angle. Could also try worm of sand. With the wyvern support here, let's go buy sell. That surely not buy sell level ups. Surely that's the more more responsible thing to do. And being the discombobulated carrots, obviously we're going to be responsible. Okay, let's go here. Roll me. Alright, we got a ton of options for level ups here coming up. Let's see how we do. See how we do. Rude. Very rude. You're buffing your dolphins. <laughs> Three Fens Faint could actually be a very good old mouse toy, by the way. I was just thinking that with with as many slugs and beluga whales and whatever that we have, that could be really solid. Holy options. Okay. I mean, maybe alpaca here? Do we ditch the anteater? I don't know. I'd say we could try it. <laughs> There's speaking of slugs. You know what? Let's do this. I want to use the alpaca trigger if we can. <laughs> Let's just throw an anteater back in. Just in case. Hmm, that was ugly. Probably should have thrown the alpaca further back. Okay. Okay. We can go Thunderbird here. Can we get another Thunderbird? That's the question. We could get a Hawk. <laughs> oh baby. That is fantastic. Another Alpaca seems pretty good. Okay, so alpaca goes further back and run it like this. Now let's remember this team is not actually that strong right now, but we've got a good foundation. I think that goes a long way. Good drawing. Alright, so we combine here. Get a little extra clownfish buff.
What do we get here? I'm looking for a good pivot, and I'm not seeing any yet. I think we do this. Pro is probably unnecessary. It is very poor synergy with Alpaca. Okay, I think we should try to pivot into a mana build. That's my guess. Fantastic. Because, I mean, we have the level 3 Thunderbird, so we're already basically there, if you squint. Come on, what do we got? I guess we could level you, right? There he is. Um, so we throw Sea Serpent in here now. We're going to focus on getting you to level 3, ideally, in the future. We can move you. And then Wyvern will go eventually. Not sure quite when. Okay, okay. A lot of snipage going around here. Dude, how do we lose that one? One more level on our Sea Serpent. Would have had him. Alright, roll me. Okay. Do we ditch the Hawk here? To get more Sea Serpent levels? Honestly, we might want to. We also have Clownfish, let's keep in mind. Let's do this, because there's a decent chance we find a Sea Serpent here. <laughs> I didn't say it was for sure. <laughs> I said it was a decent chance. Um, so let's go here. Probably. Throw on a little mana. Get a clownfish ready for next turn. See if we can find the sea serpent at last. Switch you around. Make sure our order is correct, of course. Oh baby, that was a little dicey. That was a wee bit dicey there. Alright, what do we got? Still nothing, huh? Crazy. Alright, roll me. There he is. We can go Wyvern here. And then we can sell for Sea Serpent if we find one. Max level, love it. We probably should sell, shouldn't we? Though we could get a wyvern level. <laughs> no, no, no. Let's not be too crazy here. Love it. There's no benefit to getting two sea serpents. But at this point, maybe we run like a sauropod or something. If we can find more thunderbirds. I'm totally going to run that. Don't get me wrong. But until then... Sauropod as we look for more mana or something. Or maybe even hamster. We already have level ups for him. <laughs> oh lord. I'm getting flashbacks to the the what it's whatever it's called pack. Unicorn pack. Where this guy just goes absolutely insane. And then let's level. Another hamster. I don't think we need a level three. A little clunky at this point. Not finding much here though. Any mana, any any thunderbirds? Nothing. There's a thunderbird, that's huge. Into a crow. Into another crow. Okay. I like this. <laughs> They're all just getting nuked. It's insane. Okay, so you're gonna go. The alpaca really doesn't do well with crows. Well, I guess we could do it like this. 
right? And then sell you. Yeah, I guess that's pretty good. And now we're rolling, looking for mana, looking for more Thunderbirds. Probably gonna ditch this alpaca here, so if we can find anything to go well with him. Let me see it. Chocolate, huge. Do we have a Yeti instead of the alpaca here? Probably not. You're better off just looking for chocolate, I would imagine. Dude, we still lose to the Nurikabe? What the heck? <laughs> okay, so we need to buff our guys up a little bit, is what I'm gathering. Maybe throw in an Orca as a little cleanup unit. Orca Mushroom. Seems alright. This seems good. And we can leave room for more Thunderbirds if we find any. Oh my lord, how the heck? <laughs> that was a clencher right there. Holy cannoli. I mean, I'd honestly white tiger and orca here. That just seems great. I wish I could buy a solo zebra, but that's not gonna happen. All right, so this is the team. We got this one to nuke any big guys, and then we got the cleanup squad back here. Always oh, got the same plan. Oh my lord. We are just barely getting by right now. Also, why did oh, cause the orc or the white tiger didn't get to go. I was like, why didn't he trigger? That makes more sense. Okay, so now you're online. You're a level three. I don't think mushrooming you actually has a benefit. I think we're just rolling here. Try to get some health on you, maybe? Okay. Let's <laughs> see how it goes. This is basically endgame for this build. I don't know how much further we can take it. Fantastic. I mean, that's not too bad. We gotta draw. Maybe we look for like a turkey now with our orca. Un peto, probably not gonna cut it. Just give everyone a little sum sum. Mana, sure, sure. We could throw in another Thunderbird. <laughs> um, steak is probably more appropriate. So I'll consider it. Oh no. Are we good? I can't tell yet. Dude, I feel like we're just crawling over the finish line here. <laughs> Okay, so I'm realizing if you're level 2, you summon 2, and you summon yourself. If you're level 3, you get one more summon. So I'm thinking it's not even that important, and we'd rather run a turkey back here. That's my thought. So, or another Thunderbird. Because remember, he didn't actually get the full trigger. He only did 48 damage. Let's do this. 
You three are guaranteed to go off regardless of snipes. Oh, dude, this is so good. <laughs> this is fantastic. No, we were so close. Dude, how did that not work? We had so much mana. I guess a full squad of 50-50s is too much. Also, his bear not getting sniped, that didn't help much either. Well, I mean, that team did pretty well. You can't say it didn't go kind of hard. I don't know what else you can do with this build. If you have any suggestions for ways to improve it, let me know. If spamming Thunderbirds isn't the way, we might need to re reevaluate. That was a fun one. I enjoyed that.